Hello Taurus, welcome to your monthly reading. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Taurus. And of course, if you like this reading, then please like, subscribe, comment and share the content if that's what you feel like doing. I really love all of your support on my channel and for private readings specific to you, please visit katytarot.com. So let's take a look Taurus at your month ahead, calling in your angels guide, spirit and source energy for Taurus. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you and just leave what doesn't. Okay, Taurus, the energies around you for the month. Let's take a look at your first card and message. We have the male energy coming in, the masculine. This could be divine masculine. So one of your guides may be a masculine energy angel. One of your angels may be a masculine energy coming through. Um, you're going to feel this as a masculine energy. If you meditate, you connect in, it's going to feel that way. It could be a passed over loved one who is male that is trying to connect with you. Now, a male may be very significant in your life. This could be a romantic partner. It could be your boss. It could be um, a co-worker, someone in your family. So there's that energy around you very strongly this month, Taurus. You're going to be um, having interactions with or this person is going to be significant in a strong way in your life. Now, the male um, masculine energy, it can be a female, but this female is a very masculine energy about her. The keywords here, masculine energies, male figure in your life and father figure. So your father figure, whoever that may be, may come into play this month or they may be coming through, like I said, in spirit if they have passed. So this is a very strong energy I feel directed at specific people this um, this month when we're talking about um, crossed over loved ones, when we're talking about divine masculine energies coming through spiritually for you. And you will know if this resonates for you. So I'm also getting here um, that there is an energy of something that you thought may be finished, something you, that you thought may be over. Um, it isn't over with this person. OK, something has not come to a finalization um, either situationally or within your own heart, within your own mind. Something um, needs to be said or something more is to come. OK, so that's also coming through for some of you. Let's take a look at these cards here. We have the kite. We've got a vacation. Perhaps there's a holiday coming up for you or this can be a sign from spirit saying that it's necessary for you to take some time out, whether that's going away. Um, going away on vacation or whether it is just um, saying no you're going to take some solo time okay so just giving yourself that that break okay giving yourself that time out that's what I'm seeing for you Taurus let's take a look at this next card we have the flag do not be tempted to lower your standards. So someone may be around you that you know is not so good for you. Perhaps you're wanting a better communication or dialogue or relationship with this person, but you know that you're going to have to lower your standards or the interaction isn't going to be fantastic or there's something that needs to be altered. And so Spirit is just reminding you here, if you find yourself in that situation, don't lower your standards to um, fit in with this particular person. It could be this masculine energy here, a male or a female uh, that could be around you. So just be aware of that. We have the dog energy, protection from a powerful friend. So a friend may step in or someone close to you, a loved one may step in and help you in a time of need or it could be vice versa, you're um, stepping in and helping another person. Um, so that's very interesting. And we have the bear danger, especially money matters. Be really careful with your spending, with your income, with your finances, how you structure it, what you spend it on, um, things coming in, uh, money coming in and then uh, money going out, you know, being very aware of your financial situation this month. OK, so that's really important as well to know. And we have the bow. 
you are highly thought of and maybe from this um, from this friend who is around you being represented by the dog energy it may also be um, and I do feel this for some of you this divine energy here the divine masculine coming through an angel or guide or a passed over loved one um, it could be a person in your life as well you're highly thought of um, this strong uh, masculine energy coming through so just know that spirit wants you to be aware of that energy around this person toward you let's take a look at this next message we have versatility beautiful the freshwater turtle um, so I'm seeing um, that you're at the moment you're having to go with the flow okay you're having to go perhaps downstream just go with the current see where it takes you okay so there is a direction that you're headed in but I'm seeing that releasing some control or releasing an element of perhaps it's fear or restriction so then you can go with the flow is paramount this month and it may be tied into this energy of um, you thought a situation was over or perhaps it is perhaps a situation or relationship is over for you Taurus um, and now it's time to um, get back into the flow of life get back into the flow of you and where you're wanting to go and by doing that um, you can't force things you're going to have to just ride things out for a little bit egg of life key to our blueprint this is this is a really powerful energy I'm seeing for you Taurus because what I'm seeing here is that you are uh, for some of you, you are restructuring the very foundation of something in your life. You are restructuring it, you're thinking about it, you're planning it, you are knowing that something perhaps needs to break down so you can build something new. Whether that's a relationship or a workplace situation, whatever it is personally for you, this is a very powerful, extremely important aspect of what's going on in your life right now or to come. So the blueprint that you're running off or that you have been, so the pattern, the blueprint is, um, you know, it, it was there for a certain time and now you're restructuring it. This is a conscious thing. This is a conscious thing. Um, so that is extremely powerful. And perhaps that's where this versatility comes in. You know, perhaps you're um, going, having to go with the flow more about things. Um, perhaps you're having to be versatile in a particular area of your life as well at this time. Let's take a look at this card where you are the Ace of Swords. Beautiful. This is you being very mentally clear about things, uh, knowing that your decisions have pros and cons, knowing that you're, you're um, mentally very strong here and you know your value, you know your worth, you know your direction. Okay, so you may be uh, maybe trying out different things. At this time, you may be trying out different hobbies, interests. You may be looking into a different work environment. You know, you're wanting to, I feel, get more back to you, more back to an authentic basis of what's going on here in your life. And perhaps you've been doing things or your mind's been flitting off into different, you know, scenarios and thoughts and um or you've actually been doing different things, kind of pulling you in different directions. I'm seeing you very, very much getting back to purpose here with this Ace of Swords. There's a victory at hand. You know, if you've been worried about a particular circumstance in your life, there's victory here. You have the courage and determination and, and the strength mentally to, um, to manifest this in your life. Let's take a look at what is below you here. We have the Eight of Wands. So there's there may be travel here for some of you this month. This also indicates that there's news, information, important announcements coming your way. If you've been waiting to hear word from someone, um, then that looks like it's on the way for you. Also, there could be communication from this person here, this male energy or masculine energy, um, this father figure even you know coming towards you here in some way okay there, there may be a communication happening here whether it's texts emails voice calls or, or maybe even seeing them in person that's around you but you know if you're not sure about whether you want to reconnect do you have the strength of mind to make a decision about this whether it's going to go ahead or whether it isn't you know we have the two of wands so there's a partnership here around you you're wanting to look out into the world in the same with the same viewpoint um, there's a supportive energy here 
And this can also indicate choices of passion. You know, what you want moving forward needs to be in alignment with your passion, whether it's romantic or work-wise or life purpose-wise, it needs to be in alignment. I can see that mentally you're getting on track with things with your heart, with your um, even with your spiritual nature here, you know, things are becoming in alignment. It's very, very powerful. And it comes back to this blueprint here um, that you're changing. You know, I feel that there's a change happening here in your life. Very positive. And we have another ace, the ace of wands. So not only you have the mental strength and the potential to move forward into greater things, but also your action and that spiritual alignment coming in here as well. Beautiful, fast, forceful um powerful direct messages coming in from spirit that's what i'm seeing um there's also an energy here of taking action the impetus the initiative if you want to do something then you're going to do it this this month you're going to take action on something here which i feel is very exciting because it is in uh, going to be very much in alignment with um, a new way of being or a new area of your life, perhaps, even if it's not new, it's definitely, it definitely feels like it has a fresh energy. And we have the King of Pentacles. So this is a really wonderful energy, of course, Taurus, because you are an earth sign, you may be dealing with another Taurus or another earth sign. Um, what I'm seeing here for you is that you're very much solid, grounded, you have manifested what you want you know, or you're at least having this, you've got this goal in mind because it's right next to the sword energy. You have this goal in mind and you're moving toward it um, in, a, in a very steady way, in a very balanced way, in a very authentic way. You're versatile along the way. You know, you're willing to do different things to, um, to kind of make this work. You're also willing to kind of jump into the river and go with the current here. You're not pushing upstream. Um, that's what I'm seeing. You're just you're just very centered, and it's a really great energy. So overall, here, you know, there is a situation with a with a relationship, perhaps, or with a yeah something going on here, friendship, perhaps, um, or maybe it's because you thought you had something all figured out, and now it's changing. Okay, this month, that that energy is there as well. Um, so when you kind of thought it was finalized, finished, wrapped up, whatever it is. I feel there's a little bit of a surprise here going on. I feel that there may be some uh, travel communication or something like that happening where you're readjusting things. And this is a good thing because you're moving more into this King of Pentacles and so more into much more into alignment. You know, you're going to work with this energy in the best way possible. So overall, a really good read for you this month. I hope you have a wonderful month ahead and I will talk to you all again soon.